So I'm I'm interested to learn like how do they even go about recruiting you? Now obviously there has there is some crossover there. Like there there was Mason Ryan who went from WWE to Cirque du Soleil and all, all, all that stuff. And obviously there's a lot of like crossover in the performing aspects there. But also you were that class that snuck in right before the pandemic, <laughs> right before they went on a big hiring freeze too. Yeah. It was man, it was divine timing, I say, because I did my initial tryout in 2019. It was April 2019. And the week before that, we had the Cirque du Soleil and WWE exchange. And, you know, my coaches from Cirque du Soleil said, hey, uh, you know, WWE wants to do this exchange. And I'm like, what? Ain't no way. This is, nah, nah, nah. Like, I want more information about that. And we were only in Orlando for five weeks. It was one of the shorter cities that we had. But it just kept, kept kept just kept getting postponed and postponed until the last week of uh, our shows in Orlando. They said, "Oh, it's on our dark day. It's on Monday." So we came to the PC on Monday, and man, I was a kid in a in a candy store in, a, in, in Toys R Us. It was insane. We walked in. I saw titles and cases. I saw WrestleMania. I don't know which one. I can't remember. Uh, it was playing on the screen, and then Shawn Michaels walked in. I looked at my guy. I'm like. Was that? He was like, yep. Are we? Yep. And then we was like, oh, man, this is crazy. But I woke up that morning. I told myself, like, I was I'm, I was done with circus. It was 16 years. I have done everything that I said I, said I wanted to do in the circus world. And I'm like, I need a change. And so I went in and said, I'm going to get myself a job. And I started flipping off the ropes and doing all of these different things. And, uh, you know, Scotty saw me do something. Scotty, of all people, I did, like, a little back worm under like a, a clothesline. line. <laughs> he said, hey kid, do that again. And one thing led to another. He showed Matt, Matt talked to him. And then I said, hey, how does one get a tryout? <clears throat> and they said, we have a tryout next week. If you uh, make yourself available, then we'll invite you. I never made myself available. I just said I was available. <laughs> and so I <laughs> flew back to, uh, I left Orlando, went to St. Louis, flew back a day afterwards, did the tryout, completely crushed it and got told, on the last day, said, hey, we love you. We love your story. You're a stud athlete. We want to bring you in. And rest is pretty much history. Um, you know, typical WWE fashion. You didn't hear, I don't hear anything for like months. But um, I told myself, you know, this is what I want to do. So I still had a, um, like six or seven months worth of uh, touring with Cirque du Soleil. So I just searched up every wrestling school in every city that we went to. And I said, I'm going to make this work and so i'm training wrestling on my days off on saturday and sunday mornings before double shows i went to connecticut at test of strength i went to st louis dynamo pro uh or uh, montreal um torture chamber i was in calgary vancouver training with a lot of people and i said i'm gonna make this work and fortunate enough to come in uh january of 2019 